Episode I'm here. What are you doing? Why do you whisper? I am on Tesla Street. The Paris Strika. Come, Nico, quick. the American beast by the way. Like, the fuck up I can't wait to get inside. Crime and punishment. Where are you, Roman? Psst, Nico! <laughs> Roman, what are you doing in the dumpster, man? Are they there? What are you talking about? Get out of there, man! I'm freaking out, man! I'm being followed! I saw them! Don't be ridiculous! You're being paranoid! I'm be Fuck you! Fuck you! Everything was fine, and then you show up, and now we're dead! Because Felston is a psychopath! He's going to kill us! Because we killed Vlad! Vlad was his man! That's how it works! You kill their guy, they kill you! Roman! Get out of there, man! Listen to me. Vlad was a piece of trash. They don't care about him. All they care about is making Please. money. So, we say we work for them. Now get out of there, you smell like cabbage. I don't want to, man. I'm shitting myself. Oh! Get out of the dumpster, Mr. Fat Man. Come on, Fatty. The boss wants a little chat. Wake up! <laughs> we had to gag him to stop the screaming. You shouldn't have brought them here, Andre. Why not? You've been a bad boy, Mr. Balkan. And the boss is not happy. Oh, no. I shit my pants. Not yet, but you will. Who are you working for? Uh, my cousin, Roman. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. That's not good enough. I'm gonna saw off your fucking arm. Speak! Okay, okay. You're dead like sit up the ass. What do you want me to say, huh? Very funny. Do you think you're so smart? No! I tied up in the basement a long way from home, while some ape threatens me with a hacksaw. So no, I'm not that smart. Shut the fuck up! My fucking wife is watching television! Good lord. What are you doing? Nothing. I mean, I was finding out who he is. And? Who is he? He is his cousin. You were about to cut up some guy in my house. Making all that noise to find out he's his cousin. Where did you find this idiot? He was a friend of your sergeant when we were in Vladivostok. He's an imbecile. So, Nico Bellic, you think it's okay to kill my employees? If he is an asshole, yes. Do it! Oh. I agree. Asshole, <laughs> As look at me like I'm a piece of shit. Bonjour, <laughs> moi. Now listen, Nico Bellic. You are very lucky Vlad was an idiot. The only reason I keep him around is because I fucked his sister. Look at me. You owe me. I got some dickheads in my neighborhood trying to run a shipment, yeah? And we found a buyer for the TVs. Yes, a buyer. But you got to get them for us so we can make the sale. Can you untie Roman? Хорошо. Shut up, Roman. Shut up! Roman, shut up! 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 Shut
those screams soon, or I will personally pull your cousin's stitches out, one by one, and watch his guts spill onto the floor. Clean this shit up. Listen, we'll take care of your cousin, but you better get a police car, and then you call me. Roman, Roman. Go, go, go. I, I'll take care of him. Fuck! Oh, Roman is such an idiot. He's a fucking liability. Seven o'clock. Showtime. What? I have the police car. What now? The van is driving around South Broker. Pull it over, take it to our lockup on Duke's Drive. Be more specific. How many vans do you think there are in South Broker? That is a problem for you and your cousin, not me. Keep pulling vans over until you find the TVs. Goodbye. I'm out real slow, shithead. I don't want no trouble, buddy. Show me you don't got any flat screens in the back. Hey, you got bad information, brother. Man, get out of here. TVs. Come out and don't try nothing. I wouldn't do this. Kenny Petrovic is looking after this truck. Show me the back. You carrying TVs? This is a big screw up. Wrong move, asshole. <laughs>
fucking Republican? I've left the van where you say. How's Roman? He's okay. A little scarred, but okay. You did good. Mikhail needs someone like you. Stop by and see him sometime. Hello? This is Mikhail Faustin. Please call when I can make myself available for all businesses or personal arrangements. As an alternative, leave me a message. Roman, are you all right? I was just shot in the stomach and then stitched up in the doctor's office that was dirtier than the basement we were nearly tortured in. I'm great. You sound calm, actually. That Dimitri guy gave me some painkillers. I'm kind of out of it. If you're near a shop, can you pick up some adult diapers for me? See you later, Nico. The fuck? Hey, Nico. Hey. Come in. Thank you.
Lay off that stuff. Why? Because it clouds your judgment. Not now, it's not the time. Uh, my judgment. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm a fool. A drunken fool. Nico's here. We're going to go take care of that guy. I take it you won't be joining us? Make him suffer. People forget pain so quickly. You need to calm down with that stuff. Calm? Why? So I can be like you, Mr. Babichit? Always so fucked up on painkillers? You don't give a shit? You need to calm down. <laughs> Where would we be now if I was calm like you? Let me guess. In a prison camp in Siberia, or selling hash to tourists in Red Square, or still in the Navy. Which is it today? Be careful, Dimitri. Be fucking careful. You be careful. You're getting crazy. That's the way it works. I am angry. You are calm. I scare you reason. It works. Yes, but you've angered the wrong people. Blah, blah, too many blah, bodies, blah, too blah, much blah, attention blah, 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 will be dealt with if we don't start playing by the rules. I've angered people. Me? Not we. Strange. When I give out the money, it's us. When I have to push people, it's me. All alone. Don't think I cannot see through you. After all we've done together. You're getting delusional. Look, we have to go. I fucking love you. Yes, yes. I fucking love you. I know. Yes. Yeah. But you treat me like a child. I run things my way. Dimitri Raskolov. My fucking way! Get out of my sight! Or I fucking kill you! I'm not saying don't run things your way. I'm saying be calm. Here. Take a couple of these. What are you still doing here? I said get out of my sight! sex shop on Hof Beach. This guy been making porno in his basement, and he didn't cut Mikhail in. At least he could have done is sent over some tapes. You know how much money there is in selling this stuff online? A whole fucking heap. We're going to ignore what Mikhail said and try not to kill them. Taking a bite of this pie would be very profitable for our operation. I got no problem with sparing some lives. No, it's Mikhail that has that issue. Can't keep his finger off the triggers. Wasn't always like this, though. Things got to him. I hope it don't get to me. Where's your boss? What do you mean? He's, uh... In the back? No, 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 he's... You better not be filming. Uh, no, they're just having a meeting, I swear. Get out of the way! <clears throat> Fuck. You see? They don't make them like that no more. That's a vintage bush. If it wasn't for that, I'd say this weren't worth transferring to DVD. Hey, Joseph! You think you can expand your business interests, make these pornos and sell them? Whoa, and whoa, we won't know about it, we huh? We was just waiting until the uh, books was closed at the end uh, of the financial year. Then we was gonna cut you your in. Your books are closed until you pay us our cut. Nico, take this and cover Joseph. We ain't making that much cash. 
Is that a fact? Listen, big guy, you got a great look going on. Real strong. We can push in one of our films. Shoot this scumbag in the leg. Hey, man, please, go easy on me. Come on, big guy. Come on, Nico, put a cap in his fucking leg. I was just trying to be friendly. Shit, he'll be out of action for a couple of weeks. You got some money for Mr. Faustin? Fine, here you go. We ain't gonna have... You should have thought of that earlier. I can't die today! I'm special! I'm really special! I can show you! Joseph, I thought you were a better businessman than this. We go, Nico. to an alleyway off of Dillon Street in Sharper. It's always something in this fucking city. My neck! I want to buy you a present. Will you wrap it up and put a pretty bow on it? Screw you. We're seeing a friend of mine who's got a good line on weapons. It's on the ground, a back room place. There are a few around the city. The mayor has a real hard on for gun control. Guns don't seem that controlled. I've seen plenty and I just got here. And now you'll know where to get them for yourself. What's the problem? Mikhail, I know that you don't have to do this. Everything is I didn't kill Joseph. We will make more money with him alive. Sure, Mikhail. Mikhail! Fuck! You're lucky! Ramadan tried to make you kill someone every two seconds! The shop is just down that alleyway. Pick out what you like! Tell them to put it on Mr. Faustin's account. All right, you don't look like a cop. Buy what you want. I'll take this one. Charge Mr. Faustin. You fucking Ruskies are milking me dry. I ain't a cow. I ain't Russian. Drive us to Mr. Faustin's. So, you and Mr. Faustin, have you always argued and made up like this? It wasn't always like this. Mikhail was a great man. He had a temper, but he was fair. Now he blows his top at the slightest thing. I never know who he will shoot, who he will stab. Andre, who you met in Mikhail's basement. He was always loyal. He was a good worker. Now he's dead. I guess that, that is why we need your help. Remind Faustin of that. Maybe then he will not try to kill me. Thank you for your help, Nico. Come to see us at the club soon. Mikhail will be cool by then. <laughs> 